Welcome to another R2 Reaction video. I'm Shorty P. And I'm Duke. Today we're going to be doing something special, I believe. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> special, you say? Uh, yeah, so apparently for episode 12.5, the Emperor did a Q&A session. No, he didn't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is kind of cool. All right. Yeah. Okay. So uh, there's first video. We're going to watch it where it's just like a minute long where he's telling people he's doing a Q&A session. And then there's the next one. It's called episode 12.5. Okay. That is the actual session. Now, now I had wow. intended to skip it. Okay. And maybe do it as something special, which is kind of what we're doing. But I didn't know how far down the road we would watch it. Okay. Uh, but some okay. people said that some of it does become canon. <laughs> all right <laughs> so we're That's gonna go ahead and watch it yeah. okay all right cool um so here we go about my son so let's do some fun shit i just came up with find your left hand stop using your <laughs> mouth say stupid words <laughs> try moving pineapple don't worry my That's boy. funny. i can just use this lingua tech this mouthpiece instead so i can talk in binary what the shit what the shit <laughs> stop i bet you somebody's decoded that I wonder. Ripped out your fucking mucranoids. Anyway, this is my idea. You should go and send out a message all over the galaxy, asking everyone what questions they would want answered by me if I, the Emperor of Mankind, could answer them. Then tell them to send back a question to Terra so we can get a hold of it, read it, and laugh. <laughs> Got it? <laughs> that psychic punched him. I'll get right to spending the message. Yes, get to it now. This will surely be as entertaining as the time I accidentally teleported Agron up in my flagship when he was about to be killed in combat with his old gladiator people. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> okay. I gotta know more about that too. Oh, that's too cool, man. I wish uh, I wish I could have been a part of that. Right, here we go. Awful answers. Will millennia have I stood in a cross life, carefully watching as the seed of what is to come has risen from its earthly barrows into the starlit sky. This seed, known as mankind, I have existed along from the time of my birth. I let the seed grow, I nurtured it, did my best to have it remain healthy and secure. But as it kept on growing, I could not keep up. I could not come with it, but could only watch from afar as its health deteriorated and vegetation grew bleak. As I entered into the realm of the half-life, the only thing I could experience was despair. My work that I had driven to construct for such a long time had been obliterated in but a mere moment. Mankind, my once pure seed, had fallen into the hands of sheer, corrosive and preposterous prudence. And at no other time has this been displayed as intensely as this very moment. Because holy fucking shit, these questions are the worst fucking <laughs> shit I have ever read whatever became of mankind. Beautiful. I love it. That's beautiful. Love it. Now, now, my lord, let me remind you that you were the one who came up with this idea <laughs> in the first place. That's your fault because you have informed me well enough about how incredibly, disgustingly fucking idiotic mankind has become. I mean, I just thought you were a special case. <laughs> this <makes> Sorry. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, no, that's funny. Maybe you just misread or something. I mean, these questions couldn't have been that bad. Besides, what we supposed to make fun of them? Yeah, yeah, let me read some to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Let me plow through these one more time before I actually pass out and fall off this fucking <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. This message is from one apt to deny we. Alright. <laughs> That's how I feel. Uh, he says, That's funny. Uh, he says... Say it. Why Kron loves ponies. <laughs> I have no mouth and I must scream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fucking next question. All right, fucking next question. This one is from Joseph Lyons. He asks, Oh, mighty god emperor of mankind, were you to send your sentience to a new body to rule once more? I like how it's on like a postal letter. Yeah. Department. Department of more Monitorium. You get to ask one question. A question that could be whatever deep and philosophical and, <laughs> and that's what that you, that's the one you come up with. And winding wonders of the human mind that you could potentially come up with. And you ask about fucking food. 
Then again, I probably should not judge since the Imperium clearly is some kind of bureaucratic police state driven through ignorance and idiocy nowadays, so it is only natural for your regular RG world peasant to only ever think about food. Word. As for an actual <laughs> answer to that question, I'd probably go for some tacos. Straight up. Next question is from one called... Wait, beef, chicken, uh, pork, shrimp? Right. All. Yeah. What kind of asshole parents name their child Demon Primark? <laughs> Fucking seriously, it's like they want their child brutally lynched and burnt on stake <laughs> by the brainwashed masses. I'm going to parent it's fine, my lord. Anyway, answer the question. Mighty Emperor, this is but a simple question I would have answered. Was there really a single guardsman who distracted Horus during your duel above his flagship? The legends tell of Alanius Pius doing some deed of board that accursed vessel that assisted through Horus' downfall tremendously. But is any of it true? He must be referring to that one regular old Imperial soldier that stepped in front of fucking Horus when he was about to finish me off after he had used some dirty chaos contrivances to punt me down on the ground. For being a regular human, Batman had such a titanic <laughs> fucking voice that I want to clap my hands vigorously just thinking about it. That's pretty cool. It is too bad that he was literally obliterated out of existence <laughs> by Horus after making that selfless act. It's also too bad that I lack the hands to apply it. <laughs> Typically from that point on, an Astartes Terminator and the Custodes did the exact same thing right after to prove that they were just as cool and selfless <laughs> as that glorious bastard. <laughs> I mean, can't you immortal superhumans of death and destructions let the regular Joes have this one thing? Right. Come on, man. Whoa, I'm not even getting into that one. It's not like I was the one who told Santonius to throw himself in front of you and nothing but his life won't to intimidate that Alanius guy. <laughs> anyway, next question. Nice. This one is from someone who signed himself up as the Reds will rise again. That person sounds like a ketchup enthusiast. <laughs> <laughs> Can love bloom in a battlefield? 32 6 asked for your blessing in his relationship with Toldia. Perhaps after you complete your webway, you create peace among these two races. They're the last ones that need to fight each other. I do hope this person realizes that the Eldar look at mankind mm -hmm. like we would look at a primate. To them, we are unevolved beasts, thinking in very simplistic thought patterns and only using the most simple of tools. So, to put it short, this tall deer is basically an obese child and is a sick fuck <laughs> that will get all kinds of nasty <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit! <laughs> will most likely kill half her craft world because of it. Oh my god. So, yes, you have my blessing. Yes, you have my blessing. Ah, <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs> And you know how I feel about that, <laughs> don't you? I suppose so. It's not like I'm scared to death that every time you're upset over nothing. Oh, oh okay, sorry, my lord. Me. This one is from someone named Brent Keller. He asks, What happened to your left eye? This is actually something I don't even know myself, and it's still fucking infuriating. <laughs> but it's funny. Why can I only hit this visor on one of my eyes when both of them have obviously rotted away millennia ago? Seriously, what is its purpose? I didn't even put it here. <laughs> actually, I kind of know the answer. Oh. Well, after we escorted you in all haste towards the Golden Throne after your battle with Horus, uh, Rogel Dawn accidentally managed to poke your eye out with his giant lion halo. You know, the whole sharp and pointy being in the shape of the Aquila and all. And I'm going to teach that boy a fucking lesson how to not poke people's eyes out while wearing giant sharp arms when I get off this throne. Uh, my lord, Rogel Dawn is dead. That isn't fucking stopping me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, next question is from Ray 931. Oh boy, a message from the prodigies of the Silver Baby Carrier. He asks, are you going to send Drake to rehab? Do need help. <laughs> I thought we'd already decreed that members of the Inquisition would all be rehabilitated. Did that galaxy-wide message not actually get to anyone? I bet they just neglect mail they consider bad like most feedback phobic fucking snowflakes mm -hmm. that exist in the galaxy. I'll have to rehash and create new means of getting the message across. One which cannot be negated by inquisitorial spam filters. Eh, uh, moving on. That's interesting. Next up are a couple of questions sent from some warriors that are on their way to a planet known as Arcona, apparently. The first one is from Mark Lario. He asks, what is your favorite color? Isn't that fucking obvious? <laughs> blood, blood, black, <laughs> red, bright red blood. Asks, uh, what do you think of Miguel Carroll? I approve. 
I mean, I probably would have went with gold. And he should continue to do what he is doing. You think it's gold? Because he's doing an excellent job. Makes sense. I'm sorry, my lord. I think I overlooked. Who's the hell come? This is fourth degree warp realm fuckery. Is it? <laughs> None of your concern, he says. <laughs> a chaplain, you say. Oh, we got to find out what that's about. Assigned chaplains to hold Marines in line and be as staunch and serious about their duties as possible. I have high expectations for this question. Oh, great. Why can't we all just be friends and stop fighting? How did this happen? to me, I love it. I made my <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> That's funny. I'm sick of this lie. I just want to scream. How did this happen to me? Beautiful, beautiful emperor. Next question is, <laughs> dear emperor, can you, you still, still poop? poop? Of course you can. <laughs> I'm a skeleton, so write about as much as you use your brain, you fucking <laughs> Next question. Got him. Dear Emperor, when will the universe be the year 999 Valley of Wolf 1? At the end of the year, just like every fucking year. Next. Dear Emperor, how are you fat? Why thinking pleasant thoughts about your inevitable demise. Next. Nice. <laughs> what is the most fascinating thing you've ever seen? Probably the intricate denseness of this fucking question. Beautiful. <laughs> Have you ever gotten laid? More times than the entire fucking population of your Boom. rattling penetrator. Next. <laughs> rattling <laughs> penetrator. <laughs> Call him a dildo. <laughs> I am deeply disgusted by you and I hope you explode. Beautiful. In fact. Boom. Done. Okay. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Keep moving. No, but in case someone is, I hope they feel fucking awful right about me. <laughs> Don't people just barge in here all the time, <laughs> right? Time when bullets can pass through the interdimensional walls, when firepower takes off the entirety and eternity of space and time, all being stuck in a never ending life and death cycle as bullets recover and destroy their bodies in quick succession. No one able to think about anything but the sheer force of the bullets rapidly flying literally everywhere in the materium, turning the warp itself into nothing but a sea of semi automatic weapons. Oh, that sounds beautiful. Then there will be enough DECA. <laughs> at least all. <almost. laughs> The orc word for rapid firepower. Okay. <laughs> masturbation. That's the last one, really. Next question is from pretty much everyone. Seriously, there is a giant mountain of messages dedicated to just this one question. Beautiful. And it kind of disturbs me that so many have made it. Dear Emperor, what is your opinion on the Tau? Never heard of them. I think as much. So what are they? Eh, uh, well, there's some minuscule Xenos race located on the eastern fringe of the galaxy. They're even less of a threat to us than the Dark Eldar, so it's not really worth talking about. Why would so many people send in messages about a minuscule Xeno race located on the eastern fringe of the galaxy, but they aren't even a threat? I've heard it's because despite being a small species, the Tau males are really overcompensating with their high-tech weaponry, and the Tau females have a tendency to lust for greater goods. Ooh! I'm sorry, what? What? <laughs> what? such a small species, they have the most rapidly advancing technology in the galaxy, which also means they have really, really big scary guns. But you can usually snap on and it'll fall over really quickly. That's what I thought, I think. We'll talk more about this later. Hmm. Still got more stupid questions to answer. Uh, yes, indeed. Like this one from Suki... Suika Ibuki. I'm from one of those fucking towel planets. Since your body can no longer function properly, how about mounting a golden throne inside the dreadnought for a titan so you can kick ass again? Don't you think that if I actually had that choice, I would have made it already? Right. I think you're not taking into account that the entirety of Terra will be swallowed by a giant warp rift, and everyone will fucking die if either I or the Golden Throne would leave this place. 
That makes it not worth it, but only barely. <laughs> but only barely. <laughs> what a fucking nerd. Shit. Actually, all right. Fuck it. I'm the motherfucking emperor. Send out some Terran escorts to wherever the fuck those guys are and pick them up so they can be converted into my personal bedtime story readers. But they are so insistent on doing it. Right. My centurion hasn't been able to sleep that well for the last couple of days anyway. I feel this is a perfect opportunity to continue my plans with the reformation of the Imperium by making some people actually become useful. That's funny. That's an excellent idea, by the way. Up his fucking nostrils. Boom. I am not trying to exterminate all other life, but rather keep it under some form of control. Xenos are often vile and untrustworthy, as they are out to maximize their own idea of peace and happiness in the galaxy for their own separate species in their own individual ways. The human idea of peace and happiness is to have the galaxy taken over so life can thrive without wars, poverty, nor petty hatred, all living in a bright and tranquil future as was mankind's birthright. Hmm. Compare that to the Eldar who want to take over, so they can engage in fuckloads of raw, unfiltered, heathenistic super orgies. I don't know, that last part sounds pretty fun. Or the Necrons who want to take over for the purpose of sucking the souls out of all living things mm. and going mm. back to sleep again. <laughs> or the Orcs who just want to fight forever and make nothing of their lives. And let's not even get into those fucking Tyranids who just want to eat the whole galaxy and then move on to the next. I just let you know my lord. I would be okay with Xeno races living in harmony with us if they didn't have such fucked up goals in mind for our galaxy. Thus, without Xeno life exterminated or under regulation, this is not an efficient way for human lives to exist, as it will only get stabbed, sliced, chopped, and numbed to death. Nom. Ooh, I love it, it makes sense. <laughs> anyway, next we have Luna Templar. Dear Emperor, besides swiftly unfucking the current safety Imperium, which I figured would be a given, What's the first thing you would do where you would suddenly be restored to your former glory and rise to the golden throne? Well, I have a pretty big to-do list, but as a start, I would do these things in this exact order. Okay. First, scratch my head. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Second, roll I around on the floor that. and spasm violently. <laughs> Third, take a shower. Right. Fourth, punch everyone in the Love it. And fifth, tell everyone to never ever ask stupid fucking <laughs> questions again. Alright, next question. This will be the last one. I need to take a break and let my agony stabilize for a moment. <laughs> That's fair enough, my lord. Even I feel dirty after this. Ugh. Ugh. Anyway, this last one is from someone called Magmos. Dear almighty god emperor of mankind, if you want the people to stop believing you're a god, why the heck did you run about with all that golden armor, wield a fiery sword, emit a glow pretty much all the time, and have other things of that nature? Seriously, man, you're kind of sending out some mixed signals there, you have to admit. Look, just because I want to wear ornate gold armor, wield a fiery sword, emit a glow pretty much all the time, <laughs> and other things of that nature doesn't mean I want to be looked upon as a god. I'm not the one who needs to be taught not to dress like a god. You're the ones who need to be fucking taught that considering people to be gods dependent on how they look is wrong. Hmm. Besides, my head designer thought all the flashy <laughs> bits really brought out the color of my eyes. Boom. That's funny. Yes, people have got some serious beef with a new man, calling us gods and shit. Even though I am the only one who has the real rights to that claim. Additionally, I'm happy that you at least enjoy the privilege of wearing your fucking armor. You and me both. Uh. Well, old abs. <laughs> 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 I guess that perhaps is fun. <laughs> yes. Perhaps we will read through some more questions at some other point, if I'm feeling incredibly masochistic. Right. Now, if I may ask, could you possibly tell me the good aspects about the sun sound? You were just about to get onto that. Ah, uh, yes. Let me think. Uh, of course. Greetings, brothers! Alpha Busa here. Howdy! Thanks for watching! 
It has now been a year since the first episode's release, and through these past 12 months, it has become the biggest thing I have ever made, which I am incredibly happy for. In addition, you should I've be. reached 20,000 subscribers, which is just fantastic. I just want to give you all big spine-breaking fucking power hugs. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Now, I'd like to make some shoutouts to people I think deserve uh, your recognition, if you do not mind. First off, I'd like to dedicate this video to two friends of mine, which are Eliphas and Erndil, who were both born on this very day. Ah, that's Come cool. Think of it, it makes me feel kind of bad because instead of making a birthday video for them, I decided to upload the first episode of Text to Speech Device last year. <laughs> <laughs> huh. uh, anyway, I've known Erdil since early 2011, late 2012, somewhere it. around there. He is an incredibly dedicated person who has helped me with countless of tasks throughout these years. A very helpful guy, and you should totally go and commission him for some creepy paint pictures because he goes on challenges. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's I fucking love it. Grand Provost Marshal, and hopefully he'll help me with some more voice work in the future. Then we got Eliphas. The inheritor. The only person ever who I will actually consider worthy of carrying the name of an already established character in the 40k universe. I'm, I'm sorry, everyone else. I want to shine an especially bright skin burning UV spotlight on his chaotic face because he needs more recognition. He has been around since the birth of the Alpha Legion, but he has mostly kept in the shadows, providing the occasional picture and video, which has always been fantastic. He has helped me a lot through the years, has always been friendly and accepting of people, always got a fun and surreal sense of humor, which I love, and yeah, that doesn't sound a lot like Elphus, does it? <laughs> but you don't know! You don't know! <laughs> he's not Bill Gunn, he was born here to take the galaxy just as well. It's not like the Blood Ravens provided much information other than he's a bald guy with a changing voice. Anyhow, he has never really gotten the recognition that he deserves, just like Carl, I made a video before, but since I was going to release this video today anyhow, I thought I'd just as well give this massive shout out to Eliphas. I would like you guys to go to his DeviantArt account, because he uploads a lot of really nice 40k stuff artwork frequently, and he gets better and better every time he does it, and you should go and check him out. You can also check out his YouTube channel. He makes stuff similar to mine, and he has done so for a very long time. I don't really remember I right think now, someone told us to go look at something on this guy's time. channel. Oh, yeah, they did. It's great to see him evolve in that field as well, and he's also working on a game for you guys. So, go and check him out. Fucking do it. So, yeah, thank you. <laughs> fucking do it. Again. I love you. You better remember that. <laughs> you better Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh, that's so cool, man. I like that guy. Yeah. I think there's a reason why I dug this stuff, man. I like that. I like his sense of humor. Yeah. Yeah, he That's seems funny. like a pretty decent dude. Yeah. Uh, let's just check real quick. Uh, how many subscribers does he have now? 301,000. Yeah, he came a long way, son. Yeah. From 25 to 301K. That's impressive. Yeah, it's pretty cool because he, he was so excited to have 20,000 there. I know. He's got 23,000 likes on one fucking video <laughs> yeah. and over a million and a half views on this one right here released six years ago. Yeah, the very next view or the very next video had more likes than he had subscribers at the time. That's insane. Yeah, that's cool as shit. Dude. Why haven't you guys been watching? And I mean, I just know there needs to be more fucking thumbs up. There needs to be more subscribers. I'm not. I don't like this. Yeah, I like this. You just go. Boom. See that? See how like that? See easy how, that see was? How, ooh, do it again. Undo it, and then do it again. It's, okay, yeah, I can't. Just, 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 let uh, me, ooh, wait, 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 wait. Let okay. me tease a little ooh, bit. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, spit bit. on it. <laughs> yes, you lie. Mm, boom. Oh! Yeah, baby. I made it. I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this makes the cut. <laughs> Trust me, it will. I Sweet. don't like editing. I don't. I know you don't. <laughs> no, uh, guys, for real, if you're watching these and you don't go and like the original content guy here, I can't fucking pronounce his name. Um, and it, well, I can, but I don't want to butcher it. How's that? Um, go like his stuff. Go yeah, like his stuff. And, and 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 you know, subscribe. Ring the bell. You know. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. seriously, it's man. good for you. Good for him. Uh, this guy's awesome. He makes good stuff. You should be. I think it seems like most of the people that watch these videos have seen them before, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, but the best thing you can do if you're going to watch these with us 
go watch them on this guy's channel also. That yes. way he gets the view for it. He gets the ad revenue. If he, if, I'm assuming he gets ad revenue. Yeah, it's 15. And he gets the support. He, I mean, obviously, he put way more work into it than, God, yeah. than you would probably think. Yeah. So, yeah, go support him. 15 minutes of your life, which and maybe two ads, so 17 minutes. Yeah. Watch the damn ads. Support these guys because... Yeah. Guaranteed, he's not he's not bringing in tons and tons and tons of money, and I'm sure he's not doing this for the money. But it is nice to be able to support people who put out this awesome ass content. So. Yeah. All right, everybody. Do it. Thank you. Uh, this. Uh, thanks everybody for suggesting this to us uh, to watch this. Uh, it was it was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it was hilarious. And I laughed a lot. I can see how this is going to play into like how some of those answers were worded. How they'll play into the canon of the series. Yes, so. I can't I, wait. I really thought it'd just be stuff like, uh, "What's your favorite pizza?" You know, just right. Like, Does pineapple of... actually belong on pizza? <laughs> right. No. I thought it'd be a bunch of meme questions, but it's like it fit into the series, so I'm cool with that. Right. That was funny. It was good. All right, everybody. Uh, real quick, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we got some really good. Uh, well, I'll talk about it in the next episode. Um, head over to patreon.com slash rhcrew. Subscribe there. Get early access to all of our reactions. That's right. Put five on it. And I'll see you next time.